something weird is happening on Apple Podcasts with conservative content, including my own channel. Last week, I got a few texts from friends saying that the Council of Trent was listed as explicit on Apple Podcasts. I logged on for myself and saw that they were right. I sometimes deal with mature subject matter, but my podcast is not explicit. And now users with explicit content turned off in their searches can't hear my episodes. At first, I thought this was a glitch on Apple's end until I started to notice a pattern with other conservative podcasts also being rated explicit, even though they're not explicit in content. These include Dan Bongino, Megan Kelly, Glenn Beck, Tim Cast, Patrick Bet David, Jordan Peterson, Stephen Crowder, Michael Steele, and Fox News Across America. It also included more moderate podcasts like 538, Lex Friedman, but the Whatever podcast is not rated explicit, even though they often talk about explicit content. But when you look at liberal podcasts, most of them are unaffected, such as ones affiliated with ABC, NBC, MSNBC, NPR, etc., except for the Young Turks, Pod Save America, and Jake Tapper. But all of those are really, they're more moderate liberals or maverick than establishment liberals. As of right now, this hasn't happened to Catholic podcasts or larger conservative platforms like Daily Wire personalities, Tucker Carlson, or the Babylon Bee. At least it hasn't happened to them yet. I just want to point this out to let people know, one, what's happening to the Council of Trent on Apple Podcasts, and two, it's not just me. This is happening to other conservative and moderate podcasts, and Apple has a track record of discrimination in this area. If this is what's happening, then we need to get out ahead of it and call it out. If you also notice this in your searches on the Apple Podcast app, definitely leave a comment below. And if you can, reach out to Apple and ask them why are conservative podcasts being rated explicit, but others are not. And please support us at trendhornpodcast.com to help us spread our message even if other people want to shut it down.